Hey guys, this is Zach with Retrofix Games. I'm just coming in here with a new video and we're gonna be opening this build and battle stadium from the new Pokemon set, Astral Radiance. Um, I, I personally, I had never seen one of these, but I think it's a really, really awesome addition to just like the sealed product that we have available. Um, but yeah, well, without further ado, let's jump right in here. At the back here, it has some information as to what we get. You actually get a ton of stuff in here, so it's it's actually a really, really great place to start if you're just getting into the card game. Whether you're looking to play standard, expanded, whatever you want to play, or you just want to get a friend and just jump in and give it a go. Oh, I really messed up that time. <laughs> Ooh, X marks the spot. And you get this really great little box here. Um, honestly, these boxes hold up really, really well. Like if you take care of them, you don't throw them in a backpack and bounce them around constantly, like I do. Oh wow, it's packaged so nicely. So yeah, it comes with a couple of booster packs here. Um, so it looks like it gave us four boosters. Um, looks like, oh nice, yep, poison damage counters, the whole nine yards. And they actually give you like decent dice. These are nice vinyl counters too. They're not just gonna fall apart if you get them wet. And then this is, this is the big one. It gives you a massive, massive chunk of Pokemon energy. And uh, you know, if you're like me, this is the one thing in the game that you don't have. <laughs> so Pokemon energy, that really matters. I don't think we need to open that. Um, probably says here on the back of the box. Uh, yeah, how many do we get here? Yeah, 121 energy cards. Yep, yeah, that's, that's a lot. Most decks, I, if I remember correctly, they're only playing like uh, 15 to 20 at the top end. It's a little different than Magic. Um, and then yeah, so it looks like what it comes with is two pre-release kits here. So one for each player and then a couple of booster packs too. So like honestly, yeah, if you're just jumping in here with like absolutely no knowledge of Pokemon, this really is not a bad place to start. Like you get quite a bit for your value here. You can change your deck up if you want to. Um, and then yeah, for those of us that have not opened a pre-release kit for, why don't we jump right in and open one of these guys up? Um, so yeah, these come with a 40 card pre-built deck. Um, this is all random though, so it's just like they pick two different types and then you get those two types and it's a pre-built uh, deck based on those two types. And then it also looks like it gives you a code card too, plus four boosters. So you actually get quite a few boosters in here. It looks like you get 12 total, so you get quite a bit of bang for your buck here. So yeah, if you're just looking, oh man, your handy dandy box cutter back. Oh, I didn't even get it. Yeah, they give you quite a bit of stuff in here. And honestly, yeah, like if you if you don't just immediately wreck the box like I just did. Oh no, it comes with a little sleeve, never mind. So yeah, if you pull your sleeve off there, it's like this nice little open and close box too. So you, if you don't have a better place to put your cards, you can totally just stick them right back in here. All right, let's pull all that out. Yep, nothing, nothing else hiding in there. Cool, and it looks like it comes with a quick rule reference guide here. Oh, and a set list, nice, nice. So yeah, some deck building tips here, just some simple stuff if you haven't built a Pokemon deck before. Mostly you wanna stick to the, the minimum if you're playing pre-release, so you wanna stick to that 40 card minimum if you can. Uh, but otherwise, you, I believe the maximum deck size is 60 in Pokemon, so you can just add whatever you got in your collection that you might wanna play. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's take a peek at this guy. So it looks like our foil Astral Radiance promo that we got is Magnazone. This is a really cool one. I always was a big fan of these evolutions in the video games. Actually pretty good too, not bad. And I'm assuming, yeah, we'll just pop this guy open. They probably give us the full evolution line here so that you actually like can play the game. <laughs> I don't imagine they would give us an unevolvable Pokemon. Oh man, is there a pull tab? I'm just struggle. Oh, maybe not. There we go. Where there's a will, there's a way. Okay. So yeah, let's take a peek at this guy real quick. So yeah, it looks like they give us Magnezone, a chunk of energy. Oh, it's metal and water. Interesting. And yeah, oh, cool. <laughs> it's funny to see legendaries non-foil. Yeah, some Magnemites, some Magnetons. Oh, some more Magnezones. Is this the same one? It is the same one. This is just a different artwork. Oh, so that's really cool. They actually give us multiple copies of the same promo. Just one of them's foiled. Oh, nice, and a quick ball. Wow, they actually give you quite a bit of supporters and tools. Okay, very cool. Oh, we didn't really get much of a water package there. It seems like mostly a, mostly a, uh, a metal deck here. That's okay, we like metal. That's very cool. 
But yeah, so the idea with these is like, if you were to play at a pre-release or just play at your house for that matter, you could just like open this up, put it in some sleeves or not put it in some sleeves and then just jump right in and go. Um, so yeah, I guess just for the sake of uh, reference, let's see what this person would open in their pre-release kit. All right, pull that guy out, two, three. Oh, nice. This is such a cool set. I love that they brought the fossils back. Togepi, Magnemite. Oh, nice, we got another Magnemite. We got a Reverse Hollow Gusty Pickaxe. Very cool. I don't think we'd be using that in our deck, but hey, that's sweet nonetheless. And a Regidrago. Very cool. I really like this guy. That's awesome. Well, I don't think we'd be playing with that either, but we got some tools. We got some interesting stuff here. Okay. Uh, we'll set this next to it. We can compare at the end, see how we did. But yeah, I really love the idea that they have behind these of just like opening your cards and just playing with what you got. A limited Pokemon is definitely the place to be. It is really, really fun. One of the most enjoyable pre-release experiences I've ever had, of any game for that matter. Ooh, Gardenia's Vigor, nice. Hisui and Voltorb, and then a, ooh, is this a reverse rare? It is Miss Magius, reverse rare. And then a Mighty Enna for our rare. Very cool. Oh, that's not too bad either. Well, so far, so far not any not any rares that we're putting in our deck really, but we got another Magnemite. That's what's important. But yeah, like honestly, like I think that a lot of people have this idea that they need to be playing with like only the new Pokemon cards to be able to enjoy the game. But uh nah, if in my personal opinion, I think expanded is actually really good right now. Um and honestly, you could just play the game, you know, <laughs> just play with what you got. I think that's more important, honestly. But yeah, they will obviously like not be legal and standard, but all of this stuff that you open in this is. Oh, nice, we got a reverse rare. That's pretty cool, okay. We got a Bastiodon, it's actually pretty good. And then a rare Leafeon, very nice. We're, watch, we're gonna open all of the grass types and the psychic types out of this one, and then the, <laughs> the next deck is gonna be grass psychic. I'm calling it now. No big hits, but that's okay. Playables are more important. Oh, nice. All right, that's pretty. That's probably pretty playable. <laughs> we just need to pull our bronze ore and then we're good. Do what? Nice. Oh, I really like Hisui and Sneasel. A reverse rare, or not a reverse, just reverse hollow, Cricketot. And then a rare Mama Swine for our final pack here from this box. Okay, so, I mean, I don't think we pulled his evolution line, but almost, almost able to play a bunch of the stuff that we opened. Very cool. I guess we'll set this right there. So not bad off of our first box, but yeah, why, let's open the second one. Let's see how this one did. Yeah, these are great little boxes. They actually hold up pretty well too. All right. And yeah, if you guys see anything you like here or you wanna pick up one of these sealed, you can always check out the website. Um, we definitely uh, we definitely also will have a lot of this stuff available. Oh man, <laughs> did, we, did we get the same one again? <laughs> oh, that's funny. The exact same promo, but is the deck the same? I believe these are randomized, so they'll pick, yeah, like I was saying earlier, they'll pick like two different uh, energy types and then they'll just like jam them together. But sometimes you get the same, sometimes you don't. So yeah, it looks like we got Magnezone again, but that's okay. We're making one super deck. We have infinite copies of Magnezone. All right, that would be so weird if we pulled the exact same deck again. I guess let's find out. Oh, and we didn't, see, like I was saying, they'll just pick a random hodgepodge of two different types and toss them together. So it looks like we got Dark and Steel this time. That's pretty cool. I remember when uh, Dark and Steel type energies used to deal damage to you when they first did them. They were like, oh, these are too strong. We can't. So it does look like you get similar cards here. Some Magnezones, Jubilife City. It looks like the supporters are totally different. Though. We got an Ultra Ball and a Dark Patch in this one. Okay. Very interesting. Absols. Nice. We got the full Oshawott line. It looks like this is, yeah. Or no, not a full Oshawott line, but just some random evolutions with colorless energy types. 
Oh, and it's because we got the Hisuian Samurott. So this deck is similar to the other one that we got, but it's a little different. That's very cool. Okay. So we got a Dark and a Steel, and a Steel and a Water for our two decks. Set that guy up there. And yeah, it looks like we came with four booster packs, just like the other one did. So yeah, maybe we'll open some sweet stuff. Yeah, I would love to, love to get some games of Expanded in at some point. It's a really, really fun format. It's really just cool being able to play with all the cards that have been, like, I guess available in the last, like, ten years or so. Reminds me a lot of, like, the older formats of Magic. Jump in here. Nice Asuian Quillfish. Ooh, we've got a Reverse Hollow Rapidash. Very nice. That looks good. And then a Rare Hisuian Basque Legion. Nice. We can put that in our other deck. <laughs> See, I, I knew it was going to happen. We're just going to open all of the cards for the other deck in the opposite deck. Okay. Something big. Ooh, Feather Ball. That's cool. Oopsie. Scyther. More Togepi. Chitot. Oh, there he is. A Reverse Hollow Hisuian Quillfish. Very nice. And a rare Leafeon. Oh, I think that's our second one. No Eevees, though. We need some Eevees. One, two, three. Oh, look at that face. Hisuian Electrode. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty cool. None of his, uh, none of his attacks cost any energy. That's sweet. Just toss him in anything. Oh, there's our bronze ore. Very cool. Ooh, oh, that looks really cool. A Hisuian Decidueye. Oh, this guy looks awesome. It's a reverse rare, too. And then a Hisuian Arcanine for our rare. Very cool. Nothing, nothing too crazy yet, though. That's okay. I'm sure, like me, a lot of people just have, like, infinite EX and GX cards in their collection. They're just Jones to play with. Yeah. Oh, I think I see something back there. Shield on. Oh, nice. That's for our, our other evolution. Oh, and a heavy ball. That's a good one. We've got a reverse hollow drift blim. And then a origin form Palkia V. Very cool. Well, that is just immediately playable in the water deck. Very nice. Oh, and it searches for a stadium. What a cool card. Very nice. Good pull. We take those. Set this guy aside, actually. Okay. I don't feel like we did too bad. There are lots of playables. Basically have two completed decks out of the box that you can just like jump in and play with whenever you feel like it. Um, and yeah, I think that was like definitely what they were going for here. They were definitely trying to make like a kit that two people could just jump in and play the game with. And I, I think they nailed it. Let's see if we can't uh, open some more good stuff though. Yeah, out of 12 packs, it's pretty hard not to get a bunch of playable trainers, other random stuff. All right. Got a wish cash. Easy. Oh, I see something there. We've got a full art trainer, or a supporter trainer. That is really cool. Very nice. Well, that goes in the dark deck. See, we're just pulling, we're pulling tons of stuff here. That is really cool. Oh, and nice, and a Hisuian Sneasler for our foil rare. Very cool. Set that guy aside. I love these foil rares. They do such a good job on them. Just take a minute and look at that guy. So shiny. All right, good start, good start. So far we pulled at least one massive thing for each of the decks that we got today. So that's pretty cool. Always cool to see. All right. Canceling Cologne, okay. Oh, nice, another Bronzor. Sweet and cool fish. We've got another Reverse Hollow Miss Magius. That's pretty cool. I don't think we've seen Mistrevis, though. And then a, a Rare Leafeon. 
wow, getting a bunch of copies of that. That's awesome, actually. This card's pretty good. I guess we'll take those. All right, cruising here. Two, three. All right. Ooh, a Cranidos, very nice. He has such a cool shiny. Sui and Growlithe, we've got a Foil Magnemite. Oh, nice, see? We needed that. And then our rare is a Wire Deer V. Very cool. That's playable in anything. Lots of colorless energy there. That's actually pretty good. Very nice. Some little active bench swapping action there. I like it. Set that guy right here. And we're cleaning up from these bonus packs. These have been really good. Holy cow. Are we going to get something else crazy? That's the real question. I believe. All right. Oh, there's our Toji Tick. Very cool. Oh, another pickaxe. Zisu as well. Yeah, so many playables. Ooh, that's sweet. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. We've got, for our reverse foil, we've got a Radiant Greninja. I think this guy's still worth a little bit. This is a really good card. You see, he's a basic, even though he's a final evolution. You only have one of them in your deck, so you only need to pull one. Easy. Well, that's really cool. And then our rare is a Mammoth Swine. Not too bad. I don't think we got his evolution line, so we couldn't play him, but... Yeah, I mean, we got almost four for four really, really crazy pulls there. Very cool. And then, yeah, we've got our stack of energy here. But yeah, so I mean, if you saw anything in this video that you just can't live without, you want to snag a Radiant Greninja, definitely check out the website. Um, otherwise, definitely come by and check out Retrofix for any of the sealed product that you got your heart set on. Anyway, I'm, this is Zach signing off. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.